your body has no idea that you just put your kids to bed and then it's getting dark outside and it's pissed that you skimped on a pre-workout meal and it's pissed if you go to bed on an empty stomach afterward. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Jessie Hilgenberg and this is another episode of Ask Jessie. Today's question came from Instagram and as always, keep the questions coming using the hashtag Ask Jessie. I always pick the best questions each week that I think will help so many people. So here we go. Today's question is from Kinga. Kinga asks, I work out at the end of the day after my kids' bedtimes. Do I still eat a pre and post workout meal with carbs that late in the day or night? Really great question. I mean, how many of us have crazy schedules or a crazy day and we don't have a moment to ourselves until we put our kids to bed or get home late for work or whatever and we still wanna work out but we don't know if you're supposed to eat carbs after dark, you don't know if you're supposed to train that late at night, um, Lots of things can happen. What I want to clear up is that carbs do not have a bedtime. You need to fuel your workouts no matter what time that workout falls during the day or the night. Truly, your body has no idea that you just put your kids to bed and then it's getting dark outside. All it knows is that you're in the middle of a kick-ass intense training session and it's pissed that you skimped on a pre-workout meal and it's pissed if you go to bed on an empty stomach afterward. <laughs> so remember that sleeping is very anabolic for your body, which means building muscle. And I can't think of a better time to have an awesome training session, eat a post-workout meal, let it digest for a few, and then go to bed and let that refueling and rebuilding begin. One thing to keep in mind though, is to pay attention to your ability to fall asleep at night just in case those later training sessions are making it hard for you to wind down, um, then you probably will wanna make some adjustments. But if it's not affecting you at all in your sleep, then no worries. Most important is that your workouts are happening when it best works for you and your schedule and your life. If you try to force something that isn't sustainable for how you and your day and your family operate, it's not gonna stick, I promise. It's not going to stick. So if those nighttime training sessions are working for you and you're not having any issues falling asleep, Eat those pre and post workout meals and get after it. That's my advice. Thanks for watching another episode of Ask Jesse. Don't forget to comment below with all of your questions regarding this. I'll respond to all of them as always. Also, I would be so grateful if you would like this video and subscribe or share with anyone who you think this topic would help. Don't forget to go to jessiefitness.com and check out all of my awesome Jessie's Girls training programs and keep asking me your awesome questions using the hashtag AskJessie. See you guys.